Yeah, but he's not been over here long. Oh, I see it like that. Oh, I think he's all right, Margaret. I mean, don't get me wrong. One has to be a little careful. I don't want to trouble the rest of the lake. No, well, that's easily done. That's a damn fool business altogether. I mean, why they just can't come and go. You turned him down, did you? No, 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 of course not. Well, you should. Should he, didn't you? Well, indeed, an African Welshman doesn't matter what he is. It's not a question of race, it's a question of references. And if he can't give you any... Nah, no, I'm sure it's no problem. What about your plant? <laughs> Well, as a matter of fact, on the GC, a little place I bought myself about ten years ago on spec. Bought it for land, and some dog of development out there. And the bloody council went and changed his mind while well, you know how these things go. No, I don't, not really. Well, I'm a friend on the housing committee. Lost his feet some three or four years since, so I'm a bit out of touch now. He's a good chap. Just yes, had it cleaned up nicely as he's still been there. A bit sharp, isn't it? <laughs> the game, old boy. It's the way things work. You know as well as I do. Anyhow, uh, Baron is injured. As I say, I'm pretty sure he's first rate, but he's been locked up for a start. Now, uh, his present address, uh, some room or other. Uh, glad you'd chase him up. <laughs> Find out all the dirt, if there is any. I'd like to cover myself. So you can't go far wrong with Oxford, can you? <laughs> Well, yes, straight away, really. Oh, it's only his time yesterday. Sit down. Okay. Had a room this time yesterday. Oh, dear. I've left it to an Indian chap. Oh, it's gone, is it? Nice fellow. Well, seems all right. Hmm, mine too. You can never really be sure, can you? So, if it's gone, it's gone. Sit down. There's always tomorrow. How do you mean? I could always let you know if anything turns up. I don't think he'll be here long myself. Oh? He's got a sister or something, law student. They're looking for a flat to share. What, around here? That's what he told me. So I don't think he'll be here long. I think he's only temporary. Did he give you any references? Well, I don't really bother, really, not with short let. Uh. He's only short of money by the look of him. I have no trouble paying. Come in. Oh, uh, I do beg your pardon. Oh, there's no reason to. Was there something? Someone supplied to share a phone. Oh, no, no phone here. There was one, but my late husband had it taken out. Is that a radio? Uh, no, it's a tape recorder. Well, none of your rubbish either, by the look of it. You won't play it loud, will you? Oh, no, I can't take it at all. It's the other desk, you see. Yes, of course. Well, uh, sorry to disturb you. You seem to be driving a van or something. Yeah, it's all right. It does seem queer, because it's quite a posh sort of place. He wouldn't be anywhere. Thank you, madam. You think you could take a port? Well, if you have some form of identity. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let me see what I can do for you. Huh? My back is tight. Oh, that's fine. Thank you. Would you like us to have the most altered? It shouldn't take more than a day or two. Well, actually, I want to wear it at a reception tomorrow. Oh. No, I can't wear it. Oh, but of course. I don't think it starts much too long, do you? It looks very good, actually. Mm. 180 what? Seven, madam. Uh, uh, shall I put it in the box? Oh, please? please, I'd rather not. Ali, take the coat to the car, will you? Be careful with it. Yes. Lay it out on the back seat. I'll be with you in a moment. Yes. Excuse me. I'm really very grateful to you. I thought it would be terribly difficult to bind a coat round here without an account. Well, we always try to help, madam. Put me through to the registrar, will you please? Thank you. Uh, hello. My name is Mark. Got a Markham Bain, chartered accountant. I have a young applicant here. It says he took a degree at your college about nine or ten years ago. Suresh Dana, S-U-R-E-S-H-A-D-H-A-N-A-R. <laughs> yes, they are a bit, aren't they? Yes, I'll hang on.
color, yes. Oh, yes. 1962, second class degree in mathematics. Thank you, thank you very much. I don't really know where to begin, actually. My wife's having a baby. Oh, I know it's a problem, sir. With the new round here sitting up home, quite honestly, we've hardly anything at the moment. It's a matter of deciding priority. I know. Well, I mean, do I get the washing machine she doesn't yet need, or a, a television set to keep her amused? Or both, sir. Yes, well, both. It's got to be, I'm afraid, sooner or later. I suppose it may as well be sooner. Well, there's yet another price to increase. Yes, there was a possibility. Energy, vacuum cleaner, refrigerator, radio. Uh, this is rather a good number, sir. You're interested? New on the market. Uh, VHF, FM, and a stabilizing cleaner. Japanese, really good value. By the way, what's the uh, television reception like around here? Oh, very good, sir, on the whole. And where it isn't well, we can usually fix something with the aerial, you know. Might cost a little more, but it's usually worth it. Good. We'll be damaged, shall we? Right, sir. Well, I'd like to fix all the HD, if that's possible. Yes, of course, I've got some forms in. Quite honestly, that's how most of our business is done these days. Oh, so spending capital. Yes, indeed. Do you know which uh, models you want, sir, do you? Right. Can I just have a name? Oh, it's fine with you, Benny. Oh, by the by, there's an inventory of the furniture at Woodside Cottage somewhere. Dig it out, would you? I shall need it for your mistake now. Oh, you're going to let him have it then, are you? I think so. Why not? That's your cottage. Well, the trouble is, as I said, we're, we're new around here. Well, quite honestly, we hardly know anyone at the moment. Mr. Bain, I don't have any just met him as my landlady. Or your bank, sir. Yes. Well, the account has been transferred, you see. An agent in it. A whiff, an Islington. Well, I dare say Islington currency is acceptable here. Anyway, so here's a check for the deposit. I'll leave it with you while you decide for or against me. Ah, we won't do that, sir. Believe me, with amounts of this size, the HP companies often don't bother a lot about references. Nine cases out of ten, they ain't got time to take them up. It all costs money, postage, office work. You know how it is. They win more than they lose anyway. Oh, one small thing. Could I prevail upon him to let me take the radio with me? See, I, I know my wife like to have something to listen to over the weekend. It's a bit cold for walking. Yes, you're right there. Yes, of course. Shall I put it in the box for you? No. Right, and we'll deliver the rest of the goods early next week, sir, as soon as the form's gone through. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. Oh, it's getting out of my back. Can you hear me there? Now I should know where I am. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. So I went to see you right after lunch. Fine, fine. She arrived yesterday, she said, but uh, she doesn't think you'll be staying long. He's looking for a flat for himself and his sister. Sister? That's what she said. No, no, no. It must be his wife. She's got it long. His wife's father's a diplomat or something. She may come over. Oh, one other thing. Mm. He was at Oxford about ten years ago. Took a second-class degree in math. Did it go? Otherwise, nothing. Well, wow. I thought I weren't going to find out. <laughs> well, thanks very much. Well, who knows? Some other time. If everything does turn out well, don't go out of your way, but I'll be grateful. Otherwise, just drop your billing sometime. Well, six guineas. <laughs> or whatever it is now. Uh, that would be six pounds, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but haven't you got cash? Ah, well, as I said, uh, drop a bill in sometime. Oh, I... I know it'll be easier if you're a tax master, but I pay tax as well. You want cash? I want a bill, all right? Understood. I think this darn art chap is all right, don't you? Oh, I wouldn't know, Mr. Ben. What I think doesn't matter, does it? It's your business.
Oh, bit of beer, George. Sorry today, Mr. Marker. Not like you. Well, I have my days. Anything lined up for the weekend? No. I hope it warms up a bit. Yes. Did you go racing at all? Me? No. Oh, I thought, you know, being a friend of Mr. Bain. Oh, I don't make it that easy to lose it, that is it. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Oh, hello. Half a bit of Can I get you one? Uh, no, thanks. Half a bit of Got off to my room, I gather. <laughs> That's about the size of it, yes. Not really, eh? Can't we do better than that? <laughs> there we are, sir. Seven and a half minutes. Yep. Kind of a detective, aren't you? That's the second time today. Working for Mr. Bain. You tell me, old John. I'm not offended. I've got to find him, John. Well, that's why I wanted to talk to you. I don't want to know, Mr. Dunn. I shall tell you anyway, if you find out, and I haven't told you, things could be a bit awkward. Don't stop your talking. Just going to sit down. Shall we? Yeah. All right. Mr. Donner, I've told you I don't want to know. It's not a very creditable story. No, it never is. I got about even a conscience a few years ago. Set up in business with my brother-in-law. I was married then. My wife was an extravagant woman. I, I don't know why it seems very stupid now, but she had a lot of problems. She was getting a decent house, making friends. It, it isn't easy when you're not particularly welcome in the community. We're both Indian, you see. My wife wore traditional clothes. I mean, she didn't have to. We weren't religious or anything. It was just, oh, I don't know, some kind of a gesture. We weren't ashamed of our color. She didn't want people to accept her for what she was. She not pretend to be something else. Anyway, I'm sure you don't want to hear all that. The point is, I started spending rather more than I could afford. I find things a bit more exciting. I ended up playing with clients' funds. Then I got put away. Two years. Fraudulent conversion. When you said come out? I had to come out in the scrubs and they moved me over to Maidstone and... Then I came here. I wanted to make a fresh start where I'm not known. First thing that happened, someone put the detective onto me. Yes. Now just how you feel. I doubt it. Oh, you'd be surprised. 